close to the Venice because we're actually starting to get out of the Mark Channel and there is a big old sand bar that rides along this bank over here to the right and we're not going to end up on top of it today. Yeah, well, to that. Is this anyone's first time seeing a dolphin in a while? Sorry, just be honest. I get just as excited to see these guys as y'all do, and I've been working here on this boat for 11 years. A very common question I get about these guys is, well, are they going to jump completely out of the water like SeaWorld? Guys, we're not at SeaWorld. This all Yeah, while that's happening, I am going to talk about a few houses now. The, the nearest one we're coming up on is actually going to be in the oldest house that we passed by today. It was actually built in the late 1800s. And when it was built, um, the front of the house was facing the water because that was the only way you could get to it. They didn't have roads over there on the beach side then. Uh, it was just more like trails in the woods. And also, what we got over here right behind it, it's, you're going to notice it's leaning to the south or to the right just a little bit. That's from all the hurricanes that have survived. Now, normally, when we have hurricanes in this area, uh, there's a point down south of us uh, by Cape Canaveral, and when they get to that point, it usually kicks the storm out into the ocean just a little bit. And when it goes by us, the eye's usually about five or ten miles offshore. Well, a hurricane always spins the same direction on the west side of the storm, it always blows to the south. And on the east side of the storm, it always blows to the north. Well, as many hurricanes as this house has been through, about 80% of them were where the wind was blowing to the south. And, uh, well, like I said, you'll notice it just leaks just slightly to the right. Now, and if you look up ahead of us, probably about 1 o'clock off the front of the boat, Okay, you see there's uh, two houses that have like double decker porches with white pickets on them. Okay, one's real tall and you can see it sticking out of the trees and it's got the wind windows are all boarded up. That is not the one I want y'all to look at. I want you to look at the one next door to it that's closest to us. It's got red chairs, red and yellow chairs on the back porch. Just coming into view right now. A couple of ceiling fans. It's a little bitty house that sits on top of a hill. That is the house I've been talking about right there, that little guy. Now, when we get over here right in front of it, you're going to notice it's leaning to the right just a little bit. But as you can see, if you look at the bulkhead down by the water, see how it's just kind of uh, old coquina rock? Anywhere in the state of Florida, I don't know if you've noticed all this coquina rock, just about anywhere in the state of Florida, if you dig a hole and you get between 16 inches and 24 inches deep, you will hit coquina rock. And that's why we see a lot of it here in these bulkheads. Now, some of this stuff's just old broken concrete. Alright, now I got another one for you. This house right here to our right, this brick house. See the little babies building there to the left with the sun sun deck on top of it? Okay, well that's a uh, summertime party house. And they were actually standard equipment back in the early part of the 20th century. And what it was, was if you were spending a day on the beach, rather than dragging all the sand and everything from the beach into your main house, and all the trash and everything from picnicking and all that, do it in that little summertime house rather than messing up the main house. Now the reason why I pointed that one out is because that's the last one. They poured all the rest of them down. That is the last surviving example. Now, now also, we just passed by five houses that were...
tell me the words and